So welcome to Everyday Mathematics. Uh, today we look at the MIT Integration B uh, qualifying exam 2016, specifically problem number 10 is what we're going to be focusing on, which is the definite integral from x equals to 0 to x tending to infinity of x to the power 3 times e to the power negative x squared. So this is actually quite an easy problem. Uh, we'll look at two uh, methods pretty similar to like very similar to one another but um, lead to the same answer so let's see how we maybe would solve it so uh, this being our problem this can also be expressed as the integral from x to 0 to x to infinity of x squared times the de derivative of negative a half um, e to the power negative x squared. Right? Um, and this comes from knowing that the derivative of e to the power negative x squared is negative 2x e to the power negative x squared. So to remove this negative, we have this negative here. To remove this 2 here, we have this 2, so that it leads us back to um, the situation where we have x, one of the x times e to the power negative x squared. So this is our basis for choosing uh, that expression. Now, after that, we can now do what we call integration by parts. And integration by parts simply tells us that if you integrate a product of a function v and a derivative of the function u, that is the same as uv minus the product of the function u and the derivative of the function v. So noting that and looking at this problem knowing that our u is the same as negative a half e to the power negative x squared, it means that we can now begin with the product of u and v being negative a half x squared e to the power negative x squared from 0 to x and to infinity minus um, the integral of negative a half. The derivative of x squared is 2x and then e to the power negative x squared. So this and that cancel and this and that becomes a, a plus eventually. So we have negative a half x squared e to the power negative x squared from 0 to infinity plus now the integral from 0 to infinity. The half cancel with the 2 and then the two negatives uh, mean that that now becomes positive e. Okay, so that's what we're left with. And let's just keep maintaining this the way it is. But now noting that this expression here is the same as negative a half e negative x squared. So which means that our integral now is the same as on the second part negative e to the power negative a half e to the power negative x squared from 0 to infinity. So getting here, now things become a little bit more tractable because now I can begin from right out here and say, okay, 
uh, we have limit as x tends to infinity of negative a half x squared it negative x minus limit as x tends to zero of negative a half x squared e to the power negative x squared plus limit as x tends to infinity negative a half e negative x squared minus limit as x tends to zero negative a half e x squared and so this here is for this part and this here corresponds to this uh, important to note that as x tends to infinity for this first part here this part here quickly approaches zero and so this entire part goes to zero and then here as x tends to zero this x tends to zero so this part quickly approaches zero similarly this part here as x tends to infinity this uh, exponential part tends to zero and so we are left with this part as x tends to zero e to the power zero is one so we have um, zero here plus zero minus minus a half okay so we are left with positive a half so from zero to infinity of x to the power three times e to the power negative x squared this leads us to one over two so that is the fast method uh, that we could use to solve this problem let's see how we may be able to to solve it in a second way okay so is the same as zero to infinity of x squared e to the power negative x squared x dx this x and this x squared form the x cube so um no worry there and so i see the appearance of x squared a uh, couple of times and when you're integrating that is usually a sign to um, substitute that off so i could say let u be equal to x squared such that du dx is equals to uh, 2x and so we may be able to substitute for 2x dx with du therefore our problem is the same as a half of 0 to infinity of x squared a x squared 2x dx now if we also look at the limits right uh, and i'd like to put a sidebar here x and u when x is zero um zero squared will be zero when x is tends to infinity u similarly tends to infinity so our problem half zero to infinity x squared e to x dx can now become half zero to infinity u e to the power negative u du this substituting for that and again now we can come and use integration by parts because uh, we know that our problem is e to the power u so that we now have an integration by parts half u this being v and u is negative here to infinity uh, minus 
derivative of u becomes 1, so we have um, a half zero to infinity of negative e. So this becomes a half u zero to infinity, and then we have a half e to the power negative u zero to infinity. Okay. Um, sorry, there is a negative here because this becomes positive, and then when you integrate it, there's a half there. Um, so we have a situation where now we have limit as u tends to infinity of negative a half u is the power negative u minus limit as u tends to zero negative a half u e plus limit as u tends to infinity of negative a half e or negative u minus limit as u tends to zero negative a half e to the power negative u it's quick it's easy to see that this tends to zero also this tends to zero as u tends to infinity this part tends to zero as u tends to zero this part tends to zero so it goes to zero similarly here as u tends to infinity this part tends to zero and we are left with now a zero minus minus a half because this part tends to one when u tends to zero so which is equals to positive a half so what this tells us is that our integral from x equals to zero to x tends to infinity of x cubed e to the power um, x squared is a half and that that kind of uh, solves it so um, thank you so much um, this uh, solves uh, to be the end of our problem uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel we do really encourage you to subscribe to our channel here at everyday mathematics what we do is we do enjoy solving um, these math problems uh, and if you're if you like mathematics uh, we would love that you joined uh, the group thank you until next time bye bye